How's it going, everybody? So, at the time of this recording, fall is here. And that means pumpkin spice, literally everything, is officially upon us. I mean, the most recent one that I saw, I saw, a, a, like, a pumpkin spice cream soda. And I was like, we gotta... There's, there's limits to this stuff. Like, yes, pumpkin spice is amazing, and it tastes good. There's a reason why it's so trendy, because it's tasty. Let's, let's be honest. Oftentimes, the flavor is compensating for quality of coffee, but that's another subject. Anyways, what we're going to be doing today is creating a coffee creamer for um, just your morning cup of coffee. Not necessarily making a pumpkin spice latte, but just having a little extra flavor in your coffee. Now, I don't usually use creamer. Usually my wife and I, like, she uses oat milk. I'll sometimes use whole milk and then maybe a little agave or raw sugar. Something like that if we want to sweeten up our coffee. But I figured I've literally never done this before and I'm uh, willing to give it a shot. So I'm taking from a couple different recipes that I found online for different things. Like for instance, you need a kind of like, in most of the ingredients, they say like a pumpkin spice mix. I decided we're going to make our own pumpkin spice mix. So for the actual creamer, we're going to use almond creamer. Almond milk is a little dicey because it's a little more thin. And I figured with the coconut oil in this, it's gonna kind of help thicken it up a little bit. We have maple syrup, vanilla, pumpkin puree, and some cinnamon sticks for like the actual stuff, the actual creamer. But then for the pumpkin spice mix, we're gonna be doing cinnamon, ground cumin, wait, what? Not ground cumin, ground cloves. We're gonna be doing some allspice, some ginger, and then, what else we got in here? Nutmeg, yes, that's what we're gonna be doing. So, we're gonna mix that all together, then we're gonna put that in here, add some heat, and then uh, see what ends up coming up. So, let's give it a shot and see what happens. So, for the pumpkin allspice, we're gonna do one and one half tablespoons of ground cinnamon, one teaspoon of ground ginger, one teaspoon of nutmeg, three quarters of a teaspoon of ground allspice, and three quarters of a teaspoon of cloves. After that, we're going to go on to the actual um, pumpkin spice creamer. And we're gonna add one and a half cups of our almond milk creamer. We're gonna do two tablespoons of pumpkin puree, two tablespoons of maple syrup, one teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. We're gonna let that kind of over medium heat just kind of blend together, we're gonna whisk it up, and then after a minute or so, we're gonna add a cinnamon stick and bring it up to medium high. When it comes to a boil, be careful because I added a little too much heat too fast and it almost overflowed, but um, continue to whisk it for around a minute and then remove from the heat and just uh, let it cool. Also, I forgot to add the vanilla, so I kind of threw it in at the end because it's not really on this recipe, but I think that vanilla goes well with these other flavors. So that's it. Like I said, I've literally never tried this recipe before, and I'm very interested to give it a shot. But honestly, it's almost four o'clock right now, and I don't feel like having coffee, so I'm gonna just wait until the morning to try it. So um, yeah, I'll get back to you in the morning and see what happens. So it looks like there's a little bit of coagulation. It might be from the coconut oil. I wouldn't be surprised. It's unfortunate, but not the end of the world, that's for sure. All right, let's give it a try. Hmm. You definitely get the pumpkin spice. I like the seasoning. 
like the, the spices that are incorporated. The texture is a little oily, and I think it's from like the coconut oil in the almond milk. So, were I to do this again, I probably wouldn't try, it. like I'd probably just go straight up like whole milk, like vitamin D, whatever, because it's, mm, it's just okay as far as the texture goes, and texture is a huge thing in coffee. So, I would say, good first try, but um, if you were gonna make something like this, I would say just use regular milk. But, yeah, that's, that's it for today, or both days. This is kind of an unusual recording, but wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I hope you're drinking great coffee, and I hope you have an excellent rest of your day.